Hey guys, how you guys doing? It's January 17th, 2018. Hoping you're having a wonderful day, a blessed day, guys. I want to talk about the U.S. position in Syria currently. Because, I mean, if you want to talk about our foreign policy as it pertains to Syria, it's extremely confusing and complex. This is something that seems like it changes uh, by the week or by the person in the administration that you're talking to. All right? Secretary Tillerson on Syria today said a total withdrawal of American personnel at this time would restore Assad and continue his brutal treatment against his own people. U.S. disengagement from Syria would provide Iran, or sorry, Iran the opportunity to further strengthen its position in Syria. So it seems like now the U.S. is pro-regime change? I mean, we've had these different different uh, chemical biological attacks happen in Syria that the administration that NATO allies have blamed on Assad but the evidence points towards something different this is extremely worrisome the US in Syria right now but the Kurds to the north about to face imminent invasion from Turkey which is funny, you didn't see Turkey uh, lining their tanks up when ISIS was in Syria and northern Iraq. But now that the Kurds have taken a good portion of land, this is what we're seeing. It's something we have to keep on watching. But the Kurds also, uh, the U.S. seems to be hanging them out to dry. We're getting conflicting reports. Like I said, this is a complex situation. Uh, information changes weekly what we know right now is Iran has taken a foothold in Syria Syria and Iran are allies this is not something that's illegal the fact of the matter is on one side you have US interest you've got NATO interest you've got Israeli interest Saudi Arabian interest and on the other side you have Russia China Syria Iran the lines being drawn in the sand and it seems like no one really knows what's going on in Syria. And it seems like every week the U.S.'s position in this country, this sovereign country, changes. How come before the civil war in Syria, you saw Syria being a bustling economy, a, a place where everyone was welcome to visit? And now, uh, things are changing. And it's easy to blame one side. It really is. But with a complex situation like this, everyone is at fault. The United States, Russia, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Iran. Iran is helping Syria bring military into Syria. Not just to prop Assad up like Russia is doing, but to gain influence in the region like we like we've said before Iran just like Saudi Arabia wants to be the big dog in the Middle East it's a really complex situation I've said that like 10 times now but from what Secretary Tillerson is stating it seems like the US is now pro regime change which goes back from Trump's campaign promises of being a non-interventionist wondering why we're in Iraq why we're in Afghanistan why are we in these countries well it seems mr. president since he took office he's learned of some sort of agenda that's going on in the Middle East some wider scope and it just doesn't it's not just the Middle East this is happening all over the world you just gotta line the dots up I'll continue to look into this for you guys. <sighs> Say a few prayers. Drink a few beers. And as always, guys, keep your eyes to the skies. Thank you.